Yo, what's up guys, Nandra here, welcome to another video. So for this video, I'm still not sure quite what to call this video, but I did want to record it just because it was a, it was a very, very good, um, it was a very, very good learning experience for me just because like, I know, okay, so when you play, like, naturally, like, because, because people aren't perfect, like, ev everyone has like their faults. Like for me, and for me in particular, one of my faults is that like, sometimes I don't, Sometimes I don't like fully commit on certain plays like I should. Like for example, sometimes you'll see me like not Evo, or sometimes you'll see me like miss lethal. Well, <laughs> thankfully the miss lethal thing isn't that common. But it, but but sometimes just but sometimes like I don't um I don't play I don't always play as though as though the turn I'm making is going to be like my last turn. So I don't like put everything into it like. Obviously, you should, you should, you know, strive to do this just because, like, you don't want to overcommit, but you need to realize when, when not doing that is going to get you killed. So, for this video, it's going to be at the Dragon Mirror. Now, the, the reason why I wanted to record this video is because, like, this, is because this video was, was very, very good, because, like, a lot of times, people, people just straight up just, like, don't know how to play versus Oro, and, and obviously, you know, like, not playing, not, not knowing how to play versus Oro is, uh, is going to be a detriment, especially if you're in the Dragon Mirror, just because like if one person has Oro and you do not have Oro, it uh it gets very very dicey at times. But you know, but you can like make it through it. So this is gonna be a game that I, that I could and should have won, but I just like misplayed on the on the very very last turn and I died. Like, this game, it did make me really sad because, like, my opponent had, like, 20k master points, so, like, he was, like, in, like, top 1k, so, 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 so it felt very, very good if I had won, and, like, and again, like, I was going to win, it was just a case, so I, I just, like, misplayed because, like, I kind of forgot that he had, a, uh, I, I kind of forgot what he had in hand. It's one of the reasons why I go ahead and I advocate, like, when you play, if possible, like, cause, like, cause obviously I, I know a lot, uh, I know a lot of my viewers are, um, they guys like play on like mobile, uh, not mobile, they guys play on like PC and whatnot. That's always very, very important that like when you play, just go ahead and, you know, like open up a spreadsheet in a, in like a separate window and just like keep track of the cards that your opponent's played. Just because like there are some cards that like, that, that are going to like reward you for having done that. Like say for example, keeping track of your opponent's like roaches or say for example, or keeping track of his like zero cost spells. Or in, or in the case of Dragon Mirrors, as well as some other uh, archetypes, keeping track of a number of Saha issues, as well as what Saha will targets that they've played out. So my hand is uh, not good. <laughs> it's not a good hand at all. So here I go Breath of Salamander. So I'm really, really hoping he got anything other than Ayala or Second Summoner. Like, if he got one of those two, I'm gonna be in trouble. He got one of the two. The rest in pieces. So here, I can't play anything. Like, I, I I say this all the time, but like, playing but playing things for tempo in this matchup is not always the best. Like, what I mean is that like, there are certain things they wanna like save for bigger targets. Like, for example, like, this Scyther. I, 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 knew, I knew that the Shagoon Scyther is, is worth a lot more than, you know, uh, the, 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 uh, than a Blazing Breath. Like, this Scyther can kill Bahamut's. However, if I don't draw a, a creature next turn, I'm gonna have to play it. So I do get forced into playing it, which is unfortunate because it dies on board. That's, well, disheartening to say the least. Also, because he played the Erd, I now have to worry because he is most likely... Oh, fuck, what's it called? He's most likely Dread Combo. Which is the one that like plays out Erd and uses Ariet and, and hits you for a lot. Which makes him actually favorite in this matchup by a lot. Additionally, I have to give him yet another Evo to like and this and this will be an well and this will be for something else that's going to die on board. But I don't have a choice. Well, I mean I do, but like it, the choices aren't aren't good. Anyway, so I go ahead and I just I just trade. So what I'm hoping for is that ideally he plays Fervor and he trades. Like, yes, he's gonna draw two cards and we'll be at 10 mana, but that'll be fine for me. But here, he plays another Blazing Breath. Um, 
So this is fine, because now I can go Summoner. Alright, so you always play the Summoner here just to see if you get the Sybil or not. If you get the Sybil, you can maybe decide whether or not you want to play it then. I believe I choose to play it here. Yeah, I choose to play it here because, like, I, I can't afford to not have anything on board. That's very, very dicey for me to, so for me to like, not do that, so. But here, he plays Fervor. No, he got the Fervor before I got the Fervor. That's not great for me. Additionally, he then Evos. So now, so now I know he has. So now I know he plays Grimnirs. Well, I know he. I know he plays at least two. Because usually, right now, you only really play two because Grim, because Grimnir no longer does face damage. And so here, I just go in Fervor. And I go ahead and use my Blazing Breath. All right, so I'm back at twenty, and I have more cards than my opponent technically. But here he plays Oro. So this is actually very, very scary for me because again, like now the dynamics of this game has changed. I have to force him to use that last Evo. I have to force him to use that last Evo so he, so he can't just like bring in Aura whenever, whenever he feels like it. If I can force the last Evo, it makes my Bahamut's free to play. But yeah, so now I have to, so now I have to not only force the last Evo, I also have to force him into, into a game set where he, where he has to play his Bahamut first. But obviously, as you can see, this aura is gonna make this aura is gonna make that very very difficult. Additionally, I am still on a timer because like I'm playing Storm Dragon. Storm Dragon is not actually favorite in this matchup. Well, I mean, okay, so it's favorite to a, it's favorite to a point. Like it's favorite if you can get like you know like the early cheese image like killed my forte. But because I know he has Oro, I can never play this forte. Like I can only ever play this forte if, if, if it's going to kill him. So thankfully, a double sock will ha has forced has forced him to, to give me his last Evo, or just you know keep playing a removal spell. Now this part is important. So he's now used all three. He's now used all three blazing breaths, and he's used one breath of salamander. So here, I go ahead and fervor. I don't I don't care if I take damage because like the damage isn't gonna matter. Like so here I'm just gonna go and play Sybil. Now the correct play for him is to just trade and then replay his Oro. However, a lot of people don't really realize that, and they just try to like make other greedy plays. Yeah, like, like here he plays Sockwell, so this gives you more information. So now I know that he has an Israfil in his hand, and I should have kept track of this. But I kind of forgot because like, uh, whenever whenever I play games at the moment, like I'm usually playing for hours because I'm trying to like gra uh, grind for chests. So I do kind of tend to like forget, um, or sorry, sorry it's not that it's not that I tend to forget. It's just that like. Because so many, because because like because I kind of like go through like so many games or whatever, like everything kind of becomes like a blur. I, I'm usually like not, I'm usually not quite as fresh as I normally am, which I know is like a shitty excuse, but like it, it's true. I, 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 it's usually what happens to me. So here, I believe I go complex. Oh no, I just drop. I just go and drop the Bahamut. Yeah. So I drop the Bahamut here because I I don't have a choice. Like if I okay, so if I don't if I don't Bahamut here. Then what happens is, is is if I go conflict, I clear the board, but then he can just replay Oro. He replays the Oro. I go down to seven HP. At seven HP, I die to Zeus plus Evo. So I have so I have to force him to use the Evo here. If he wants to Bahamut me back, that's fine. But let's be real. No, no one ever does that. Like, eh, 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 everyone just goes for for the, for the greed Oro play, and then just and then, and then just uses the Evo for that. Because obviously, why wouldn't you? Like, if you, if you, if you get to hold one more Bahamut over your opponent, that's pretty crazy and here like you probably don't mind giving me initiative because unless I have poly which I top deck it's pretty good for you so here he counter polys which is which is good for me because like generally if you poly second that puts you in a very very poor position like I mean, obviously like He's still winning because like I, I need to play a ward, like which is bad because like my wards are Zeus's and he hasn't played a Bahamut yet. So I know so I know so I know he's gonna play a Bahamut into this, but uh yeah. But this is nice. This is nice because I deal ten this turn, next turn I deal five more, the turn after that if he can't heal, I win. I know he's gonna play I know he's gonna play Bahamut here, he doesn't have a choice. He plays Bahamut, that's fine. Now this now this is the this is the last turn of the game. So this is a turn where it doesn't matter if he heals or not because because if he heal okay, so so for me at the time what I, what I was worried about was like I was worried about Scythers because like obviously like I hadn't seen one yet. I know he's playing Grimnares, so I have to wonder exactly what what else he's playing. However, it th th that doesn't matter. Like 
what matters what, what matters is, is whether or not like that the Zeus can stay alive. And I and again, I know I know he has his yeah, I know he has his Israel's in his hand. I know he's drawn a lot of cards just because like he replayed Oro three different times. So, 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 uh, so that's three cards that have like account for in his hand. But I don't know exactly you know what those are. But I do know that I need that I need to make this Zeus as sturdy as possible because if it dies to anything, I die. Like sorry, if it dies to anything other than other than his Bahama trading into it, I die. So again, I just gonna slam down the Zeus. Like th there there is no next turn. Like it, it literally it literally comes down to this turn. And I, of course you know I misplay. I don't Evo it. Then he plays Sockwill into Israfil, trades into it, and then kills me. Yeah, like I said, uh, as, I, as I always say in my videos, like, it's just, you know, little things like this, the, the, like, the, the side games they should have won. Like, honestly, I should have won this game. I, I honestly could, I honestly could and should have won this game. Like, if I just said that, like, he'd, he'd already used, I believe, four, four, four or five of his spot removal spells. So, like, yeah, I was pretty favored to win, and all, all I had to do was just Evo. That was all I had to do. But, you know, League of Throws. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like. Go, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't. And yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya!